This is your Royal Fidelity Business News Tuesday. I'm Altavis Munnings. A new report from the World Bank encouraging governments in the region to ramp up its social assistance while supporting financial sector institutions as they plan for the post-COVID-19 economy. The World Bank advising policymakers in the Caribbean to adopt a forward-looking approach amid an expected 4.6% drop in regional gross domestic product this year. Minister of Aviation and Tourism, the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar, says government should now be working with both the Bahamas Hotel and Tourism Association and other stakeholders in developing protocols to create the necessary comfort once borders reopen and travel resumes post-COVID-19. He believes this administration should be formulating strategies and learn from the measures other countries are implementing. And in international business news, a weekly business tracker that monitors the economy's health showed the United States is still suffering its worst crisis since the Great Depression, but the contraction in growth has slowed. The New York Federal Reserve's weekly economic index, created in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, suggests the economy was shrinking at an 11% pace compared to the prior year. The economy has been devastated by widespread business closures and the loss of more than 20 million jobs. That has been your Royal Fidelity Business News Tuesday. I'm Altavis Monix.